Good morning, everyone. It's Lindy. Okay, so here we are with another sold video. Now, sales this week were pretty slow, um, but I mean, that was to be anticipated for a couple of different reasons. I was anticipating it because it's the start of the new year, um, and I have not been listing very much. So I've been really, really focused on, you know, hiring an assistant for this week and getting stuff ready for that assistant and prepping things and um, and that kind of thing. So I haven't really been listing a whole lot on eBay. And so when you don't list, your sales suffer. And so my sales are suffering, but I've still been having packages every day that I'm super, super thankful for. And so I want to show you what did sell for me this week. So... Here come the clips. Good morning, everybody. Oop. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it's Wednesday, January 4th. I have a few packages shipped out, or that I am shipping out, that I figured I would share with you guys. Uh, it's early, but not too early. So we're gonna do this thing. Okay, so... The first thing I wanted to show you, you guys saw me haul this not too long ago. It's a 90s Reebok windbreaker. Woo. It's in really, really good shape. There's no rips or tears anywhere. Um, I had it listed for $19.99 plus shipping or best offer, and I accepted a best offer on it of $15.00. So the total purchase price was $19.57. It is going to cost about $3.40 to ship by weight. It weighs about 11 ounces with the packaging. So, and I paid $2 for it, 50% off at Goodwill. So after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $19.57 sale is $11.54, which is a fantastic profit on a $2 purchase little over 11 bucks in profit. I like that. Um, these I just wanted to show you really super, I mean, we're going to fly through. More Taco Bell Diablo sauce. These are actually the ones that have the sell-by date of next week. But uh, Diamond, one of my wonderful subscribers, she contacted me saying that she wanted to buy the last three bottles. I wasn't listing them because the date was so close. And per eBay regulation, you have to make sure that um, the item gets to the buyer before the sell-by date passes. Um, so I was just not going to list them at all, but she contacted me and asking, and they should get to her by the sell-by date. So she bought them at a discounted price. Thank you so much for your purchase, Diamond. That way uh, I didn't just waste three bottles. They're going to someone who's going to love them. Um, and I did take a loss on these, of course. When I reduced them, I reduced them to $11.99 with free shipping. Um, so basically, it paid for the shipping, the fees, and then I got my money back, and then I went in the hole like 29 cents. And then, sold this t-shirt. I thought this was hilarious. Stud muffin. And it's a sexy slang t-shirt. Ooh, sexy slang. And it's a size extra large. It's just a fun novelty shirt. I took a best offer of $6 plus shipping on it. So the total purchase price was $9.67. And I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. And so after fee shipping and product cost, my total profit is $4.52. And I forgot to mention, it will ship for $2.60. The shirt is light enough. So a four dollar and sixty two cent profit on a dollar purchase is awesome. That's a really fun shirt. And then some of these were in the sold video earlier this week. I just didn't show you guys because it was in the middle of the night and I was hurrying through it. But I sold another three bags of double bubble cinnamon gum. I sell lots of three for twelve sixty nine, and I pick them up for a dollar a bag. And they're going to cost $3.50 to ship by weight, first class. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $12.69 sale is $4.08 on the Double Bubble Bubble Gum. And 
And then, let's see. I sold a lot of three of the Physicians Formula Argon Wear BB Cream. It's the shade Light Medium, um, and it has SPF 30 in it. These I sold a lot of three for $19.99 with free shipping. I got them on clearance at Walmart and I was really surprised because I got them on clearance for only a dollar each. These things retail for like nine bucks. So I was shocked to see them on clearance for only a dollar. I don't know what Walmart was thinking. But I bought all three that they had, lotted them together, and somebody got a killer deal on this makeup because this is easily $30 worth of makeup that they got for 20 bucks. So, um, it's going to cost $2.60 to ship them by weight uh, because they do weigh less than 8 ounces. There's nothing flammable in them, so I don't have to worry about sending them ground. Um, so, after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $19.99 sale is $11.41. So, an $11 profit on a $3 purchase. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is this... Top from Wet Seal. It's just a really cute, like, lace trimmed plunging neck top. And it's a size, let me see, it's a size small, but it's just a really cute top. And I took a best offer of $9.50 with shipping. And I paid, I believe, let's see, I wrote it down. Yeah, I paid 50 cents for it at a garage sale, and it's going to cost $2.60 to ship. It's really, really lightweight. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $9.50 sale is $4.97, which is a fantastic profit for a 50 cent investment. So that's everything that I have going out this morning. Here are the screenshots. Good morning everybody it is Thursday January 5th and I am in the middle of packaging up some items that sold over the last day or so um, one of them uh, was sold a while back and um, the buyer paid so that's going out today and then I just want to show you what sold in the last day so the the item that was bought before and was waiting payment was two pairs of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle clogs. Ah. I took a best offer from someone for $16 with shipping for two pairs and I took it. My initial cost in each pair was only $1.27. I had got them on clearance and they are new with tags. And since there are two, because they're a larger boy size, they are going to be over a pound, so I'm sending them priority. Um, and I am doing priority by weight because they will not fit in a padded flat rate, and a flat rate box is just way too much. So they are going priority by weight um, for $6.40, which is not bad. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on that $16 sale is $4.86, which is, you know, about double my money back in profit alone, so not too shabby. And then I'm just going to roll through these. Sold more Theraflu. I'm officially sold out now. Sold another three boxes for, uh, let's see, $12.99. I picked them up for a dollar a box at Dollar Tree. They were kind of just on a closeout. Um, double check the expiration date, June 2017. Always check the expiration dates of things like that that you get at Dollar Tree because they're usually like throwouts from big box stores. Um, and they're going to cost $3.45 to ship. So total profit on these after fees, shipping, and product cost on the $12.99 sale is $4.39. And now I'm officially sold out. But I tell you, I bought them out when I was there and um, I probably made around a $50 profit just selling these. So 
that was awesome and it's you know it's one of those things where you create the listing once you let it roll and every time it sells it's profit so I don't hate that oh pop rocks okay so I picked these up at it was either Walmart or Dollar Tree, I'm trying to remember. But it was around Halloween. They're the three packs of the Pop Rocks. They're the Pumpkin Patch Orange flavor. Um, they are orange and green. So I picked them up for a dollar a package and sold four for $11.99. They're going to cost $2.60 to ship because they weigh less than eight ounces together. So after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $11.99 sale is $3.26, which is not a crazy awesome profit, but again, this is one of those things where I bought a whole bunch of them, created the listing once, and I'm just going to let them roll. It's snowing outside right now, by the way, like really snowing, but I sold shorts. <laughs> They are American, whoop, American Eagle shorts, and they are size zero, so they're a very, very small size. I've had them listed for a while, which is really kind of expected for a size zero. They're going to sit, um, but I thought they were really cute. You could see the pockets showing underneath them. They're just, they're really super short. They're just little booty shorts. That's all they are. Um, I took a best offer of $8 with shipping on them just because I'm tired of looking at them. Um, I picked them up for $1.25 at Salvation Army. Um, they were uh, one of those things where it was like the end of summer and shorts were like 50 or 75% off, and so I paid only $1.25 for them. They're only going to cost $2.60 to ship. That's the uh, good thing about size zero booty shorts is they don't weigh very much. So they're gonna cost $2.60 to ship, so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on that $8 sale is $2.90, which is like two and a half times my money back in profit alone. Again, it's not a huge profit, but it's easy. It's money back. It's gone. And then I sold these YMI premium jeans, and they're a size three. So again, they are a small size. But they have some really nice distressing on them. You can see the distressing on the legs. And then there's some really cute patchwork on the butt. I really like that. That's adorable. So, and they're a really nice flared jean. They're really nicely flared. Uh, they sold for $15.29 with free shipping. I paid $2 for them, 50% off at Goodwill. They're going to ship for $5.60 in a flat rate envelope for a priority mail flat rate envelope. And so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $15.29 sale is $5.57. So that's almost three times my money back in profits alone. So that's awesome. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is this Wrangler rugged wear red plaid button front shirt. It's a size double XL and I picked it up at the bins for 88 cents and it sold yesterday on best offer for $11.99 with shipping. So, and it's going to cost, um, let's see, $3.45 to ship by weight. And so after fees, shipping and product cost, my total profit on the $11.99 sale is five dollars and 93 cents which is an awesome profit on an 88 cent investment so i'm gonna get these shipped that's all of it here are your screenshots good morning everybody it's friday morning january 6th and I have a few packages going out this morning I thought I would share with you. Um, so yeah, sales have been slow, but I'm very thankful for the three packages that I do have going out this morning. Very thankful for them. Um, the first thing that I wanted to show, it's going to go really super quick. 
They are Bullhead Hermosa jeans, and they're a size 9 short. So they're a junior size, 9 short, and they are the super skinny. So they're a skinny leg, they're not a boot cut or anything, but they're not just skinny, they're super skinny. So these I picked up at Goodwill for $2.50 percent off. They sold for $14.99 with free priority shipping. It's going to cost $5.60 to ship them in a first, no I'm sorry, first, wow. It's going to cost $5.60 to ship them in a flat rate priority envelope. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $14.99 sale is $5.31, which is almost three times my money back in profits alone. And then I sold all free and clear dryer sheets. Um, this is a box of 80, and they sold for $9.99 with free shipping. Um, these are hard to find. I know that they're hard to find in some um, some places around the country and things like that. I, I, like my Walmart doesn't carry them, which is really bizarre. You would think that Walmart would carry something like all dryer sheets, but they don't. Um, I do find it at a local grocery store, and it's like one grocery store within like a 40 mile radius of me carries it. Um, but I ended up buying a case of these from a local couponer. Um, I think in the store they sell for four or five dollars a box. So buying them for resale just straight from the store is not really a very good profit maker. Because um, I mean, if you buy it for five bucks, sell it for ten, there's like no profit there. But I bought it for $2 a box from a local couponer, so that leaves me a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, it is going to cost $2.60 to ship by weight, because uh, it weighs right around 8 ounces, and so after fees, shipping, and product costs, my total profit on the $9.99 sale is $3.62. So... Those are going out today. Then, the last thing I have to show you guys is I sold, I have got the dropsies today. Oh my god, don't hand me a baby. Okay, so two sets of Pantene Color Preserve. Can I, maybe I shouldn't even be trying this with the dropsies I have. Maybe I should start this video over. No, I'll keep it in. I'll keep it in. <laughs> you guys want to see my real life? This is my real life. Okay, so two sets of Pantene Color Preserve Volume. Um, the, these sold two sets for $15.99 with free priority shipping. I actually paid only $0.67 cents per bottle um, from a local couponer. I actually bought a whole bunch of shampoo and conditioner from her. I can't remember exactly how much I paid her and what all I got. I just wrote down that I paid an average of $0.67 cents per bottle. I think it was something like... I gave her $25 or $30 for a giant lot of stuff, and just when you did the math, it came out to $0.67 cents, um, per bottle. So uh, my total cost in four bottles was like $2.68. Um, I'm going to ship them in a uh, flat rate priority envelope, a uh, padded envelope. Um, again, I'm just going to individually bag them with a clear bag. Um, add some extra bubble wrap in there, perhaps put some cardboard in to keep the squish factor down. And so after fees, shipping, and product cost, my total profit on the $15.99 sale is $5.21. And now I'm going to put these down before I drop them on my feet. And that's everything I have to show you guys. Uh, that concludes through Thursday night sales. Here are the screenshots. Really quick, I'm back with good news. So, apparently I wasn't paying attention to my listing. 
Yeah, these are going to get to go first class. They are small enough and thin enough, being a super skinny, that they don't have to go priority. They weigh 15 ounces, so that means that they're going first class, which means I just got another $2 in profit. So, because these are shipping for $3.65 instead of $5.60, that made my profit go from $5.31 to... 726! Yay! I love happy accidents like that when you think it's gonna cost one thing to ship and then you weigh it and you find out something completely different. So there's an extra two dollars in profit. Profits, profits, profits. Okay, now here are the screenshots. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this kind of video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know. If you have any questions or comments about the items that sold, feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can email me. My email is in the video description. And if you haven't subscribed to me yet, I hope that you will. And thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you with my next video. Bye.